There is one more magnet. I got mine down. I want to show you what it looks like. There is one more magnet I want to place. Let's open that up back up to here. Let's grab a couple magnets. This is because I feel that we need it because when closing it. So let's see. I think I am going to place mine. I'll place mine right here. Okay. I'm going to find something to cover that up. Grab this out of your reserves and let's cut out and around this tag. I'm going to apply glue to the back of this whole piece here, especially get on that magnet. Now when I place this, I'm going to place this magnet to make sure it hits back behind here and not up here because I have something else for us up there. And then we will just glue that down. When you do that, now grab one of your flatter white little flowers, and I have a stamen, stamen in the middle of mine, so I made sure that it kind of pushes down. Okay, the mate. Let's grab the mate to that and place it there and dab a little glue or just peel this off put in the middle like to find our place. Mine will just come right off because I have this. Okay, now take this and press it over. Let's find something for that. In your reserves, bring this back out. This little orange tag will look great. We'll cut out and around it and then we're going to glue that onto some nice cardstock, leaving a border. We'll cut out around it. So this is what I have. And this is just going to be a tuck spot, so I do want to make sure my magnet is going to be completely covered with glue. I'm going to come down at an angle. And then make sure I get over here. And place it. So now I can still get something tucked back behind, and the magnet will still work too. So, there. And that makes it easier so now when we close, this doesn't come up on us. So there's a nice snug fit. Okay, let's get our paper for this. In your paper pack, you will find the panel sheet that has the cute little bears, and on the back, it is blue. Let's take off that trim piece. Let's turn it upside down. Paw prints are up here. Measure over eight inches and cut. So this is what you should have. Turn it sideways. Measure over eight inches and cut. Apply glue to this side and glue that down. Don't forget, if you have an adhesive backing on your magnet to pull it up first, in your paper pack you will find this print, and on the back it looks like that. Let's take off that trim piece. The first thing that we're going to want to do is take off these trim pieces. So we're just going to make one cut and it's going to be straight on down and I'll show you mine. So just one cut. We're not going to divide them up. We'll put that in our reserves. The next thing that I want you to do is stick this on your paper cutter again and cut to divide up these panels. And I'm going to show you mine first. So that's what I did. I'm going to put this in my reserves. The next thing I want to do is cut in between these two to divide those. All right, so this is the piece that we want. If you were to lay this down, it, is, it should be like exactly five inches. So we do have to do a trim. But the first thing I want to do is get our width correct. So leaving yourself just a little bit, about a 16th inch border of craft showing there. Bring this on over here. And if you were to make a pencil mark, right underneath your Y, like this. And then we'll cut off that, but that's okay. We're going to trim. 
So yours should look like this. So this is what I want you to do. I want you to measure over 1 16th inch and cut. And on this side, you're going to do the same. Measure 1 16th inch and cut. And that will trim it up uh, enough for us to fit in here. So let's see if it works. I did mine, now I'm going to check. So what we're looking for here is so that we can still see a little crafty border side to side, top and bottom. And mine looks good. If you need to do a little more trimming, do so. So I'm going to apply glue and glue that down. Let's flip that up and find our piece for this. In your reserves you will find this piece. On the back it is green. So I'm going to give you the measurements so that you make sure that you have it. Mine looks like it's almost 4 and 1 8 inch by 7 and 7 8 inch. I'm going to use this. Now one thing I have to trim is the, uh, that so it fits. So I'm going to center that side to side, make sure I have a border there. And I'll come down here and do a measure to fit. So I'll make my pencil mark, I will trim, and then I'm going to glue that down and burnish it down, centering it side to side. Let's open that up, and what we're going to work on now is getting our piece for down here. In your reserves, you will find this piece on the back. It is green. I want to use this because this is a great journaling spot and a photo placement. Um, side to side, we can fit it in there. It'll give us larger borders on the side, but it will look good. I'm going to move it down from where that score line is, about an eighth of an inch. And then what I'm going to do is measure to fit down here. Making sure I have a border. Trim. Apply glue. Center that side to side, top to bottom, and glue that down. So I have this down here. I'm ready to go here. In your reserves, you will find this piece. On the back, it's blue. If you notice, you will sit side to side perfectly. We are going to be short here, but that's okay. We have something for that. Um, I have one more magnet left, and I'm going to use it. Because these papers are very thick cardstock, and there's a lot of layers. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to pull up this one. And we're going to place the magnet right down like that. Let's put a squirt of glue in the middle. Now bring this one on top and press. Now let's place that over here. This will ensure that this will uh, magnetically close nice and tight for us. Okay, so we have that there. Let's apply glue to this. Bring it down, center side to side, and leave yourself a little bit of a craft border down there. And then we'll burnish that down after adhering it. Grab this out of your reserves. On the back, it looks like that. All we're going to do first is match that up side to side with our blue panel here. And we're going to first measure to fit. And where's my pencil? There it is. So I'll make a pencil mark, put this on my paper cutter, and cut. All right, so we have our side to side. Let's just place that right on back. Now, up here, we're going to come real close to the top. We'll only leave a sliver of our craft showing. And make a pencil mark and trim. If you have any adhesive on your magnet, let's get that off. Let's apply glue to this, making sure we get the edges really good of this so that we can burnish it. Press and burnish. The last thing that we need to do after we finish burnishing this down is get our piece for in here. In your reserves, you will find this print on the back it is yellow. Looking at it like this, measure over 8 inches and cut. Now let's turn it, measure over 8 inches and cut. We're going to apply glue to this and glue that right on down. 
This side is done. Let's close it all up. And we'll move on over here. And we'll open this up. In your reserves, you will find this piece. And we're going to be working on the inside of this side first. So the first thing that I would like you to do is cut in between these two and cut so that we can get this out. And of course, we'll trim this way. And I'll show you what I have. So I trimmed around this and I left as much as the darker green border as I could. And I have this. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to place this down. And I'm going to place this down so that I cover that 6 by 8, just covering it. So I'm going to glue that down. Next, I'm going to take this one, I'm going to apply glue, but I'm going to leave a space and I'm going to line it up with the bottom of this panel. And I'm going to center it between this and this, leaving the same size border, and glue that down. This little bear tag I'm just going to put back in my reserves. So in your reserves you will find this piece. On the back it is cream colored. What I'm going to do is place this down and line it up with the sides of this panel here. And I'm going to measure to fit. And I'm going to cut. So this is what you should have. Measure over one and a half inches and cut. Now, what we want to do, and I think I'm going to go with the brighter yellow side showing up, but we're going to apply glue and you're going to line this up with the top of your green panel and you'll glue it down making sure that the sides are even with this. Look in your reserves for a very long slender piece. This is what I found in mine and it's green on the other. It may take you a moment to find it, but if you were to place that right up underneath the green panel and line it up side to side, bring it all the way over, you should have a little bit to trim off to measure to fit. So I am going to clip that. I'm going to apply glue to the green side, and I'm going to butt that up right up underneath there and glue that down. Check your reserves for any more long skinny trimmings and I have this one and it's peach colored with something on the back. I'm going to take this and measure it up to the top of the panels like this and I'm going to measure to fit until I hit down here and then I'm going to glue that down. And if you are not finding these pieces, wait until the end of the tutorial. You'll have plenty of scraps left over to do this. That looks good. I'm not going to worry about over here. I could go and grab more scraps and I might do it at the end of the tutorial to uh, fill in that. Let's flip this up. In your reserves you will find this print. It's very long. It's 12 inches long. On the back it's green. Looking at it like this, measure over 6 inches and cut. So this is what you should have, and what we're going to do is apply glue. We're going to we're on the inside now of this. We're going to come over here and leave ourselves a crafty border. We're going to glue that down, and then we'll burnish it down. In your reserves, you will find this piece. It's six inches long. On the back, it's the leaf. We're going to apply glue, and we're going to leave a border in between. The two, because this is our photo frame, so I'm going to make sure this, the framing around this is even, and I'm going to glue that down. We're going to work on this side now, right underneath these. In your reserves, you will have this piece, and on the back, it looks like this. This is about six inches by about eight inches. We're going to apply glue. And we're going to, let's glue this down on this side and leave yourself one eighth inch away from your, your hinging here. And we'll glue that down. On your pre-cutting and scoring guide, we cut a four inch by nine inch piece of cardstock and we labeled that large pocket. We laid this on our scoring board. So we were nine inches across, we scored at a half inch, and we scored at eight 
and a half inches. We turned so we were four inches across and we scored at a half inch. Let's grab our scissors and at the bottom where we can see our little square we're going to snip out those little corners. And let's turn and fold and burnish on those scoring lines. Grab your 3 8 inch score tape and we are going to line this with our score tape. And the 3 8 works very well on the little half inch. Now be sure to pull this up so you get this side. There we go. Let's burnish that down. Oh, let's do our cut first at an angle at the top. Definitely want to do that first to be easier. Oops, get that more even. Okay, let's release some of the score tape down here and just pull it back enough and we'll pull this up. And then we'll lay the score tape back down. Perfect. So this should fit top to bottom and be look very nice. So at this point I'm going to place it and then we can place our papers. So I'm going to release the score tape backing here and let's place this. So remember your openings here and the fold is going to be over here. So I'm going to try and line this up and give myself a little bit of a border. Okay, I got that down. I'm going to burnish this really good. All right, if you are trim punching, you can trim punch um, for the length of this, which should be about eight inches. And you can glue yours down. Die cutters, I am using the largest bracket and I have a two inch by eight inch piece. It makes it easier. And I'm gonna give myself a quarter inch to three sixteenths inch of space in between the top. And I'm gonna center that side to side and run that through my die cutter. Die cutters, this is what you will have. <coughs> So I'm going to come in and leave myself a nice border there, and then I'll cut at an angle. Okay, you can cut this part down a little if you'd like. Um, I'm just going to glue that down. In your reserves, you will find this print on the back. It's blue. It's 12 inches long. Looking at it like this, measure over 8 inches and cut. Alright, measure over 3 and 3 8 inch and cut. We're going to apply glue to this side and this should be a good fit if you line it up with the pocket and it will give you a crafty border there. So we'll glue that down. So on your pre-cutting and scoring guide you would have cut a four by four and a half inch piece of cardstock and we labeled that small pocket. We laid this so we were four inches across our board. We scored at a half inch and three and a half inches. We turned this so we were four and a half across and we scored at a half inch. And what we're going to do is do a layer. We have a pocket here and we're going to layer this pocket. So let's first start at the bottom here where we cut out our little square. Next we are going to fold on those score lines and we will burnish. Next we're going to lay our score tape on our piece and we're going to burnish that down too. Let's cut up at an angle on each of these sides. Oops, don't go back down. All right, pull that up and then we'll push that back down. So this is our small pocket and there is a piece that fits perfect on here. Well, just about. In your reserves, you will find this sheet 
on the back it's this. What we're going to do is put this on our paper cutter and we're going to cut straight all the way down just like I did here and that just brings that down. Next we're going to divide this from that and we'll put this on our paper cutter and cut straight down there. Alright, so you will notice if you were to place this bare you will have crafty border on the sides and you want a little crafty border on the bottom. All we have to do is measure to fit at the top. Let's make a little trim mark and we will cut. I'm not going to be adding any fancy trim so I'm going to apply glue to this and make sure this is my top and I'm going to center that in there leaving a crafty little border and I'll burnish it down. Once you have it burnished down release your score tape and we're just going to place this and I'm going to leave um, some blue cardstock, decorative cardstock showing on the bottom and try to get that even and I'll burnish that down. So we have a little pocket here you can slide uh, tags in there, small little photos. And I think that's really cute. Okay, let's just close that up. I think we're done with this side. Let's move on to over here. And we're almost done with this. In your reserves you will find a 6x6 six six panel like this. On the back it's orange. Let's apply glue and we will leave ourselves a crafty border top bottom and to the left and we'll glue that down. In your reserves you will find this trim piece on the back. It's that and I think I want to place that. So I'm going to butt that up next to my little 6x6 panel and it looks like it needs to be trimmed. So I'm going to measure to fit. I'll make a mark this way and then I should be able to place it evenly just glue that down. Okay, so let's do that. Trim, apply glue, and glue that down. In your reserves you will find a two and three quarter inch by four and just four by four inch. On the back it's yellow. So what you're going to want to do, and this is not in the pre-cutting measurement guide, this is something I just wanted to do. Cut a piece of cardstock out of your reserve or fresh cut that's 3 and 7 eighths inch by 4 and 1 eighth. Once you do that, apply glue to this and center that in there and then burnish it down. Okay, next let's apply glue to the back and let's glue this down. Next, grab a dark blue flower and glue that down. Okay, let's flip that up. So we're going to work for up here, work on getting this done. In your reserves, you will find this piece. And it is about 9 and 7 eighths inch this way. On the back, it's, it has this, so that might be more helpful. Okay. Now, in your reserves, you will also find this, and I believe this is 8 inches. It's 8 inches wide by 2 inches, and on the back it looks like this. So the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to apply glue, and we are going to center that side by side, and leave yourself uh, about an eighth of an inch away from your score line there. So let's glue that down and burnish it down really good. Next, let's grab this and we're going to put that, line that up with the side of this one. And if you press it down, it should give you a crafty border. If not, you can trim that a bit. Uh, but over here, we're going to match, make a pencil mark and trim that so it fits. So let's do that. Now let's apply glue, line up your sides and glue that down and burnish it down really good. In your reserves you should find this panel. And it has hope in your day is perfect at the bottom. 
on the back, it looks like that. So what we're gonna do is put this on our paper cutter and cut around this. We're gonna leave the brown border. And I'm gonna show you what mine looks like. So this is what mine looks like. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply glue. I'm gonna bring it over here. You see your seam? Bring the bottom of your panel to your seam and leave yourself a little bit of your leafy paper showing on the side and we're going to glue that down. In your reserves you will have this square piece on the back it's blue and it's about four by four. What we're going to do is back this to some cardstock. We're going to apply glue, we're going to glue that down leaving ourselves a crafty border and we'll cut out and around this is what mine looks like, and I'm going to adhere it down at an angle. But I do want to, just in case I want to tuck a tag or another thing back behind. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come halfway up behind this side, and then along the bottom with some glue. Make sure that this does not go over the other side. And now you can even get larger picture mats back in there if you'd like. Okay, let's work on this. In your paper pack, you will find this print. On the back, it's green. Let's take off that trim piece. Okay, let's turn it sideways, measure over eight inches, and cut. Now, measure over eight inches and cut. We're going to apply glue to this, and we are gonna place this, centering it, and we'll burnish that down. In your reserves, you will have this, and on the back, it's this. All we're gonna do is put this on our paper cutter and cut right down to divide this panel from this panel. On your pre-cutting and scoring guide, you cut a five and a quarter by eight inch piece. And what we did was we laid this on our scoring board so we were eight inches across, and we scored it at four inches, right down the middle. Okay, let's fold this in half. Okay, so what we're going to do is have our opening come out to the left. Make sure you burnish that down really good. Grab this and place it, and what you'll want to do is center it, and you should have just a sliver of your crafty showing. Let's glue that down and burnish it down. I have mine on, so for this I want to be able to slide picture mats and something back behind still. So it's going to be placed at an angle, and on the back of this I'm just going to come up maybe one third of the way, and I'm going to place glue there. Make sure that when you place it, don't cover the bear, and just place it at a slight angle there. And then we can burnish that down and make sure you don't go over the edge. So now you should be able to slide something back behind. Grab this back out of your reserves. On the back it looks like this. And all we're gonna do is divide these two and we're gonna cut off special day. Okay, so flip one over and this should fit in there. And we'll glue that down and this one Make sure it fits, and if you need to trim a little, go ahead, but we will glue that one down on the inside. I have mine down. I'm going to close that up, and I'm going to give it a good burnishing here. And we don't need magnets because the magnets are already uh, where they need to be. Okay, let's pull this down, and let's see here. Let's work with this. Now this is going to be a large pocket for us down here. And I'm going to scoot this up just a little more so you can see. So, with that being said, we're going to need something 8 inches across. And it looks like this will work. I don't see anything else that I'd like to use. So for this, all we're going to do is open this up. Let's apply glue to this side. 
and let's place this staying about an eighth of an inch away from that score line and centering it side to side. Okay, so for back here, what we want to do, and I'm just going to bring mine up like this, we're going to apply glue just to the sides. And then what we can do is just bring that up, match up our sides. Perfect. Let's find our paper for this. In your paper pack, you will have this. And on the back, it's orange. Let's start by cutting off that trim piece. So this is what we have. All we're going to do is cut one cut right down the middle there to get this. Okay, measure over eight inches and cut. All right, apply glue. And let's glue that down. Center it side to side and leaving yourself a little bit of a lip up here. So what we did was we had cut another one of the three and a quarter and six and a half inch pockets. We laid this on our scoring board and we scored at a half inch and six inches here. We had turned and scored at a half inch. Die cutters, what you're going to want to do is what we did before. You're going to want to place your thing, run it through the die cutter, and you'll come out with this. Let's start for the people who are not die cutting or doing anything. So you will cut out your corners, and then we're going to lay our score tape. And the 3 8 works on this one really good my three eighths. I'm buried. Okay, so lay your score tape right here, right here, and you will lay it right here. There we go. So if you're not die cutting, this is what you should have. Let's pull up these little tap, these little uh, pieces of score tape just enough so that we can then press these over. Once you press them over, put back your score tape for now and then you will clip at an angle. And then what you can do is remove your score tape and place your pocket so that the opening is here. And this will be over here. Die cutters, uh, second line in, we will fold and we will burnish. Second line in from this one, we'll fold and we'll burnish and then the second line up from the bottom. We'll do the same. And that's about a half inch or so. Close enough. Okay, so for us, we have a choice of glue or the score tape. Um, I'm going to use score tape and then I'll fill in the rest with glue. And then we're going to place ours. Make sure your score tape is good and down. I'm going to remove the score tape backing first, and then I'll add a little bit of glue here and there, and a little up here. Okay, we're going to go sideways with ours. Okay, let's find our paper. In your paper pack, you will find this print. On the back, it's this. Let's take off this top part. In your reserves, you will find this. On the back, it's green. This is about four and one eighth by six inches. What we're going to want to do is cut this down. So, die cutters, if you want the green, you can die cut on the green or this. I'll be die cutting on this once we trim this down to fit. Measure over, and this is for everyone, two and five eighths inch and cut. So we are two and five eighths inch, measure over five and five eighths inch and cut. Those of you that have a pocket, you can apply glue and glue it down. And let's see, did I do that? Looks like I'm off a bit here. Did not quite get five and five eighths. So just make sure that you fit side to side 
trim off anything. I need to trim mine down. And you can glue that down. If you're doing trim punches, uh, you can trim punch and lay it so it, either, it goes this way, like we did before. Die cutters. What you're going to want to do is center this side to side. So once you do that, you will run it through the die cutter, making sure this is at the top. So this is what I have. I'm going to apply glue and I'm going to glue that down. Die cutters, we will have a little bit of crafty border on the side. Die cutters. Now because we have more of a crafty border up here, in your reserves you will find some skinny strips. You can use that right on down here and measure to fit, to fit across. If you are uh, someone who has just the flat across the bottom, you can also do this as well. So I'm just going to stick that right there. Okay, so we have one more page to go before we finish up with maybe um, going to the cover and adding our flowers, because that's one thing I definitely wanted to do. And let's get our piece for the inside. In your paper pack, you will have this print on the back it's green. Let's take off this trim piece. Looking at your paper like this, measure over eight inches and cut. Now measure over eight inches and cut. We're going to apply glue to this side and we are going to center that and glue that down. That looks good. Let's close this all up. And we'll close that up. And it looks like we need to do some work right over here. Whoops. This one goes in that and right here. Grab this back out of your reserves. Looking at it like this, measure over 8 inches and cut. Looking at it like this, measure over 1 and 3 eighths inch and cut. Measure over again, 1 and 3 eighths inch and cut. So you have a choice. You can apply glue and have it like this with those colors. Or you can put it like this and like this. That looks pretty good. Or you can have the green. I'm going to have it so it's this. So I'm going to glue those down. I'm going to center it in between the two and you should have borders on either side and top and bottom. I have mine down. Now let's get for this. Grab this back out of your reserves. On the back it's green. And I'm going to have the green up so it's not so busy. And so we should be a perfect fit top to bottom. We just need to measure over to trim it down. Measure over three inches and cut. All right, so you should have uh, glued down or tried to get some glue under those prongs really good. Now what I want to do so it doesn't poke through our paper is grab your 3 8 inch score tape and just place it over those. And that will help a little bit. And we'll burnish that down. We'll remove that score tape backing. And now let's just apply glue to this. We'll match it up with that and we will glue that down and burnish it down. And I think our album looks exceptional. Let's fold that over. Let's fold that. Let's latch it. And we're going to get for this. In your reserves you will have this panel on the back. It looks like this. Let's apply glue and we are going to glue that down. So I haven't glued any of my flowers down. I'm going to do that. We'll do it together. I've got one of my largest 49th and Market, the lighter blue. I'm going to use some hot glue and I'm going to just stick that down. Let's get a couple of our darker uh, little ones, the tiniest. We'll grab a light blue. Let's grab a little white one. And I have another white one here. Let's grab our sentiment. And we had set a bunch of these off to the side. We want everyday moments. 
Let's just tuck that right under there and glue that down. I have two more white ones and we're just going to stick them right like that. Our album is complete and I think it came out absolutely amazing. So all you have to do now is create your picture mats and we don't do those together because everyone has their own taste in picture mat sizes and this, if they like to crop or if they don't. So thank you for joining me for this tutorial and I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you on my next tutorial. Happy crafting everybody!